is a very tidy low miles and pretty original Indian Royal Enfield Bullet 500 and uh, it's another one that's suffering from uh, clutch drag and creating difficulties to get neutral so I'm just going to stand the camera down here I've got the machine in gear and I'm going to pull the clutch in and spin the rear wheel and we'll see that there's a hell of a throw on the clutch pressure plate when it's lifted hopefully the camera might see that and pick it up so first of all I mean that is fluctuating by a couple of millimeters of lift that pressure plate from uh, one extreme to the other so I've got to address that first of all so I'll be taking the all the springs, I'll get them all undone of course and take the pressure plate off. I'll go through the friction and plane plates as well and check that they're serviceable and true and so on and I'll probably do my modification to the end of the clutch push rod if it's one that's shaped like a sort of inlet or exhaust valve and round it off. I'll see what we got in there when I take it to bits but see that's the portion of the pressure plate that's lifting there and if we come round here we'll see where are we there that is barely lifting at all so that is causing drag so I've got to get the pressure plate to lift evenly which I've done on others in the past and I'm pretty confident I'll get the same uh, result here after a little bit of work and um, We'll come back to this hopefully when I may have found a cause or fixed a cause and I'll explain what I've done. Here we can see I've got the uh, bullet clutch dismantled now and I'm hoping I'm going to demonstrate with the machine still in gear that there's no throw or wobble on the clutch centre or the clutch basket. I'm just holding that steadily against clutch centre back plate and we can see it's spinning truly there's no throw or eccentricity or wobble so all that is good I've got the uh, clutch plates down here and I'm going to check them one by one on this sheet of glass to make sure that they're flat and true the first plane one certainly is so as long as all the others follow suit I'll be putting that lot back together and um, if all's well with those then I'll focus on the uh, push rod, which is one of these so with a little thrust pad on it, little bearing like thing on it, rather than the plain valve shaped one, which I can sometimes grind to a sort of mushroom head. So we'll see how we get on with everything else, and maybe I'll be able to sort it out without worrying about this. But um, the next part of the job is to make sure the clutch plates are true and get them back in if all is well with those. Well finally, after much fiddling and juggling around with various different springs and even uh, whether it can be seen there, some copper washers to use as spacers behind various springs. I've got five of the six original springs out of the clutch there and a selection of various other springs of varying strengths all arranged in a manner that allows for even pressure plate lift. Now it took a while moving them around and swapping from one type to another to another and maybe putting a copper washer behind this one or that one or whatever. Um, quite a few trial assemblies have been done here to get this as good as it is. I'm going to spin the uh, clutch with the rear wheel in gear with the clutch pulled in in a minute we'll see this lot spinning and um, it's spinning as far as side to side goes wobble on the pressure plate very little if anything you may see some radial throw because this isn't perfectly concentric to the center of the pressure plate that was just how it was made or pressed out or whatever but hopefully I've got the camera arranged so that you'll be able to see uh, through the clutch basket and see the edge of the pressure plate and see that it's spinning very very true there we are that's the clutch pulled in now let it out 
put it in. We've got nice even lift all the way around that pressure plate now rather than one part lifting and one part not and it wobbling all over the place as you spin it round. So that should go a long way towards eliminating any drag and also slip because uh, the adjustment will be more precise now. So that's all good. Also I'll try and show this if I can. I just ground off a little material. I removed the clutch lever. Sorry for the bad light. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to hold a torch as well. But I ground a little material off the back of the clutch lever so that when it comes to rest it's further away from the handlebar. So we've got more scope, more linear pull on the clutch cable which in turn gives us more movement, more lift at the pressure plate. So I think that's been a worthwhile day. Now when I drained the oil, uh, ATF, Automatic Transmission Fluid, came out. Lots of people use that in these primaries and that's fine. Um, you can put whatever you like in here, it doesn't affect the engine but it's always worth bearing in mind that some engines, like the old British uh, 250 Royal Enfield Crusader, the clutch and primary drive do actually share oil with the engine so machines like that anything that hasn't got a sealed main bearing be very careful what you put in the primary drive but I should be ready to put the primary cover back on this now and put some oil in it and um, hopefully turn my attention to doing an oil change which is uh, next on the list I just thought actually one final demonstration of this clutch and how little in the way of any drag there'll be now is this. I'll pull the clutch in at the handlebar and I'll grab hold of it. We're in neutral now and I can spin it like that. When the, uh, when the clutch lever is pulled in, the pressure plate lifted, I can spin the clutch centre against the basket and friction plates easily with one hand. Obviously, let that go. We'd be trying to turn the engine. No way can I move it. Clutch in. Spinning nice and easily. Nice and true. I think we should have a good clutch there. So, uh, that should wrap that up quite nicely. And no doubt we'll get a road test on it before long. And hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that we should be able to get neutral on it quite easily. I hope. <laughs>